I want to show you a few of the items that I use to achieve both a beautiful environment, but also make working here a more efficient and productive space. A home office should be a place where you're creative and productive, but the accessories we use to make it work should also be aesthetically beautiful too. I mean, we want to enjoy this space too, right? Having items that make you want to enter your space will only contribute to how productive you can be. Now, where possible, I've linked all of the items in the description down below, so be sure to check them out if there's anything that interests you. Now, some of these items you may have heard before and some you might be hearing about for the very first time. So let's start with the rather popular one and then go from there. For the keyboard and mouse, I'm currently using Logitech's MX range. For the keys, I'm using the MX mechanical, but I also use the regular MX keys too. Both are similar to me, but I prefer the mechanical keys for a few reasons. It's one of only a few mechanical keyboards that are wireless, which just makes things that little bit cleaner and easier to use. Battery life is rated for about 10 months without the backlighting, which is pretty solid, or 15 days with the lights on. Personally, I like the lights on and powering it isn't an issue either, but I'll get into how I do that soon. I've gone with the clicky keys and they're great, but the thing that sets the MX range apart is how they are so functional compared to other keyboards. Dedicated buttons for emojis, screenshot, changing the operating systems, a calculator, lock screens, and more is what I really personally love. The mouse is similar. Often seen as one of the industry's best, the MX3S has all the bits to make your life easier. All of the customizable buttons for specific programs, it's smooth and quiet. It does the job better than any other mouse that I've ever used. But I don't do too much gaming, so I can't really speak to how it performs with that. But for photo and video editing, which I do a ton of, it's been a game changer. Battery life is rated for 70 days, and in my experience, it's probably shown a little bit less than that, but I'm a fairly heavy user too. There's a button on top that allows for changing the wheel from a clicky-ish feedback to a more smooth roll. So pairing this with the custom buttons, the ergonomic shape and the second scroll wheel and you've basically got the best mainstream mouse on the market. Just look away now if you're a lefty mouse user as this one is not made for you. Now going back to power options, I feel like this is a super underrated part of a desk setup that often gets overlooked. Cables, clutter and generally ugly looking power options are for amateurs, but we are not amateurs. We are the elite of clean setups, but we don't subscribe to that low class clutter now, do we? I'm using a few power options from Ugreen and a big shout out to Ugreen too who are sponsoring this video. But let's have a look at a couple of Ugreen products that I'm using to make powering this whole thing a pure dream and why I think you too should probably have something like this on your desk in your space. Let's start with the Nexode 65 watt desktop charger, the one that sits on the desk. Well, most of the time anyway, because it also doubles as the perfect travel power option too, because of its small and lightweight design. On the road, I'll power my MacBook, my phone, my drone batteries, my cameras, all from this little bad boy. In terms of its size, it's just under three inches on each side and barely a thumb's width thick. Comparing it to my MacBook Pro charger, it's tiny. Now my MacBook Pro charger is a 96 watt charger, so it does have a little bit more power, but it doesn't have the versatility or the size. But it's also got a smart little brain inside this thing, which will distribute the power depending on what you have plugged in. If you only have one USB-C connected, it will send all 65 watts to that device. And if you have two, then it will give 45 to one and 20 to the other and so on. Having something like this on the desk to power the odd item or either one of the Logitech keys or mouse, and then being small enough to tuck away so it's out of sight is what it's all about. But the look of the Ugreen items isn't bad either. The black and gray tones will work with most desk setups too. I'm also using the 65 watt DigiNest Cube which sits inside my sideboard unit over here and allows for plugging in those larger items that have bigger plugs like my label printer or backup hard drives. But like the 65 watt option, it also has four ports on the front but adds another three AC outlets. You can use this one on your desk too, but I like it sitting in my charging station as that's where more of my larger items sit and I like keeping my desk free of those types of items too. Like pretty much all of the Ugreen range, they all come with some great safety protection and over temperature and overload protection too. I'm mainly using these 65 watt options, but they also have a range of 100 watt and even 200 watt options too. Now I have covered a bunch of other things in this office, which I won't go through in this video, but I have covered in previous videos, which you can watch after this one. I've linked it up here. I've tried my best to make my office smart, but I don't have any issues with dumb offices either. But smart ones are just that little bit fancy and actually make things a lot more easier to work in. 
But in terms of the smart stuff, I'm using two Google Mini Nest speakers, which sit on the other desk, which I've had tucked away, hidden away so you can't see them. And I've linked them in stereo for when I'm listening to music. But I also have them all set up in my Google Home too. So then it also powers my two lights around the desk. I've set my lights to automatically come on by routine at 5 p.m. every weeknight and then turn off again at 12 p.m. And this helps me manage my sleep habits just that little bit better by having the lights turn off at midnight as a signal to say, hey, I know you like doing all-nighters, but it's time for you to knock off now. Because if you're anything like me, like a bit of a creative person, then I'm sure you two have been working away in those early hours, only have it to wreck your following day. But Google is also nice to have for those random questions you have during the day. Hey Google, how smart are you really? Well, I'll never stop searching. Another smart thing that I have in the office are these new blinds I have on the window. If you've been following along for a while, you may have noticed that I've been experimenting with changing up the window coverings in my office. And I've never really covered it in a video up until now. I went from standard blinds to block out drapes to sheer curtains, and I think I've found the right balance. I'm using these zebra style shades from Ulax in combination with the sheer curtains. And I just love these things for a few reasons. One, because they offer multiple looks in the one. I can have a solid, almost fully blocked out position or go with a stripy zebra look and then basically everything in between. But also because just like the lights, I have a set routine for these things to operate in. They open at sunrise to allow some light for my plants, but I've also set them up with a voice command so I can open and shut them just by talking to Google too. They come custom made to the right size. All you need to do is just enter the size of your window into Amazon and then they'll just look after you. Setting it up was a little bit confusing at first as the instructions are generic for all of their shades and they do have quite a few options, which is pretty cool. But once you get into it, it all starts to make sense pretty quickly. I had to remove the older blinds first before I can install the new ones. But in the end, it made it actually a whole bunch easier because the holes are already drilled and marked and it just made it easier to install the new ones after that because they just went into the same place. They also have a remote you can use and mount anywhere. I haven't quite worked out where I'm going to mount it at this point, but I just left it in my desk drawers, but I think next to the light switch might be a good spot too. You can use the remote for customizing a bunch of stuff too, but I just use it for the main basic function of opening and closing and stopping it at my preferred opening point. This window shade for me is one of my favorite things in the office now. I feel like I'm in this super fancy functional hotel but without the cost of what it would usually be to have these things installed. I've stayed in two ridiculously fancy hotel rooms in the past which have had something similar and those vibes immediately returned to me as soon as I started playing with these things. I do have a few more things that I want to cover with you, but they just won't fit into this video, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see them. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up as it lets me know that you like it. But apart from that, it's time for you to go and get out of here. See ya.